I'm Millie Weaver. I'm Caitlin Bennett. And you're watching InfoWars.com. We're here at ANA Gun Range in Garrettsville, Ohio. We came out here to meet with Caitlin Bennett, the Kent State college student who has come out and spoken out about protecting the Second Amendment. The girl who famously walked around on Kent State campus with an AR so she also challenged David Hogg to an arm wrestle. So we're just gonna be interviewing her and we're gonna be doing some shooting out here. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Gun rights are women's rights. They I absolutely totally are. So where should we put them? <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I have been a very prominent gun rights supporter on campus for about two years. And the students on campus are very liberal, they're very pro-gun control, and no one else was talking about the other side. So I co-hosted an open carry event where we had over 50 armed people on campus, um, and I was like, that wasn't enough. No one's getting the point about campus carry, they're not understanding gun rights in general. So I was like, I'm going to do a protest right when I graduate. I'm going to go on campus with an AR-10, and I'm gonna show how ridiculous it is that I could not have my concealed carry weapon, my pistol on me during my uh, senior year when I was 21 and able to have it. I believe that we should be able to have any of those on campus because I believe an armed society is a safe society and an armed campus is a safe campus. Uh, but I definitely should have been able to have my concealed carry weapon. So you bring up a great point when you're talking about being able to carry on campus because we've seen a lot of these shootings happen on school campuses. Um, the Parkland shooting has gotten all this hype, all this attention to where even Nicholas Cruz is receiving love letters and fan mail. I mean, isn't that pretty disgusting when we're talking about the news coverage and who's getting attention? The people who stop these shootings get way less attention than the person who actually goes and carries out the horrendous act. So whatever happened with the whole David Hogg thing, I know you challenged him to an arm wrestling battle, I guess, over yeah. the Second Amendment. Did he actually take you up on that offer? No, he hasn't responded. He hasn't really acknowledged. I know that he's seen it because all of his friends are complaining about it, but he's on his bus tour trying to uh, implement gun control and get these teenagers, you know, registered to vote to, you know, elect in officials who will implement gun control. And uh, I guess he's too busy <laughs> being a communist to uh, you know, take up a girl on an arm wrestle challenge. Look at that. <laughs> We're too politically correct. We can't joke. The liberals can joke. That's fine. They can call Trump a monkey. They can say he's orange and, you know, he's a woman beater and everything. But the yes. right wing makes a joke about a scrawny armed little communist that wants to take our rights <laughs> away and the world loses their mind. The left will troll and they will try to claim that they're something they're not in order to try to uh, put guilt trips or make you feel that you're wrong or get you to uh, back step in your stance. With some of these tweets that I'm, uh, that I'm actually reading here that you're getting, um, hey b you, you're going to hell. LOL, like she's getting hate mail from these people. I think it's really ironic that the same people who get to walk up to like try to end bullying are the ones sending me those messages. They're like comparing me to demons, they make fun of the way I look, they make fun of my ramen noodle hair, which you ever shot an AR-15 before? Whatever. So what which is like the scariest gun for liberals? They're both scary to them, but they really hate the AR-15. Oh, the AR-15, okay. <laughs> which I mean, it's actually a smaller caliber round than than the AK. Right. In fact, this is the AR-15 round. This yeah. is the round yes. that yeah. everybody, that you know, from the gun that everybody's afraid That's of. That's awesome, man. You this is the lever go? action 4570 that, uh, it's a hunting rifle. Right here. The caliber round. Hunting rifle. <laughs> AR-15. Wow. Which one could do more damage? Definitely this one. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't want to get hit by either, but that one looks a bit scarier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So every gun attack or it, 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 
automatically the AR-15 and the media demonizes it. In the past 96 mass shootings, the AR-15 has only been used six times, and yet that's the rifle they keep attacking. They ban semi-automatics, we lose our concealed carry. We lose our to walk around and conceal and protect ourselves. When actually somebody who doesn't really know how to use an AR-15 um, could actually do less damage than somebody who's really good with a handgun. No, I yeah. mean, if you're really good with that lever action or a pump action shotgun, I mean, you can do ten times more damage than you can with the AR. -15. Kent State, I know, I'm sure other campuses do this as well, they put up flyers about it that one in five women will be sexually assaulted while attending this university. That's terrifying. So why are we advertising that these women will, will, might be sexually assaulted, but we're preventing them from protecting themselves? Exactly. A lot of campuses don't even allow uh, knives, pocket knives, or even pepper spray. So they're just letting women be victims. They aren't doing anything to help. Those flyers are not doing anything to help them. And you know, we should be able to protect ourselves on campus. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to offend some vegan activists. I want to shoot the AR-15. Okay. Did I get the chicken? You're a little to the left. I'm a little to the left. Oh, I got him. <laughs> All right, let's put it back on safety. Women have some physical disadvantages in brute strength to men. And so when a woman can hold a gun and defend herself against some big six foot two guy that wants to harm her or rape her or kill her, she's really becoming empowered and yes. taking that power back. And with that small gun, she can fend off that guy. A pistol in the hands of a woman is the greatest equalizer against any predators that might come at her. Having a, a firearm on you is the biggest deterrent to those types of assaults. Gonna, you know, it didn't hurt that bad. Yeah, just left my skin. Little, a little, little bit battle of scar for today. <laughs> I can see why the AR-15 is such a loved gun. It's more lightweight. It's the seen AR more practical. Yeah. It's and easy even for women to shoot. Well, that's America's gun too. Women tend to win and dominate gun sports, and that is a way that women can take power back. Like you said, it's the equalizer. It, it allows women to be empowered. And that's the real thing that. You know, we don't hear feminists talking about this on the left. We don't hear that because they get their power from uh, wanting to complain and guilt trip and act like they're the victim rather than taking power back into their own hands. There's a feminist feminism <laughs> group on my campus actually that led a slut walk right before uh, you know the, sem the semester ended, and I asked them. I said, "So the slut walk is supposed to stop slut shaming and stop, you know." Um, the the rape culture on campus and i said do you advocate for women to be armed guess what no they don't it it, it doesn't matter to them they just want to they said instead of using firearms to protect ourselves we should be talking and using our words well yeah. guess what <laughs> that, that doesn't work yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's so killing. It's what would you say to people who are afraid of guns? Ask questions. Ask what certain guns do, what different types there are. Then ask someone at a range to go with you and show you what they do, how they operate, what they're used for. Contact your local concealed carry clubs. Contact your local open carry clubs. Ask questions because I promise you, you'll go from being scared to being thrilled to shoot a gun. It's absolutely empowering it's fun and you know it's it's amazing that we have this right to have these weapons to protect ourselves from the government and from people that want to harm us